Today, what I'm going to show you is how to build backlinks using ChatGPT. These are completely free backlinks that have helped me get to DR50. This is a nice little hack that's actually earned me some good backlinks in January, including one free DR54 backlink. And you can see the traffic for this website for juliangoli.com. You see the traffic increasing. You can see the keywords going up to the moon. And today, what I'm going to show you is exactly how we get free backlinks using ChatGPT and AI link building. It's probably the easiest, fastest, simplest way I've seen to get backlinks. And I just want to share this little hack. So what am I talking about? Well, basically, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to pull up some of the example backlinks. And there's a couple recently that we can show you. I'm going to filter my backlink profile down to do follow only. And also only have one backlink per domain. And here we go. So here's an example. And this is a backlink that we got from Auto Blogging AI directly to my website in an article that reviews Autoblog. And basically the way that I see this, we pull up this review right here, is that, and excuse my French in the testimonial there, but basically what we're doing is testimonial AI link building. And essentially it's going to work like this. Let me draw the diagram for you here. It's going to work in three simple steps. You're going to create some content around a tool that you use regularly. And obviously we're all using a lot of AI tools these days, so it's quite easy to do. And that could be a blog, it could be a video. I would recommend actually creating a blog post review on your website. Then you're going to do some outreach and I'll show you exactly what that looks like in a second to the tool that you actually want to backlink from. And they're going to build a link to your review page for that tool. Now I've done it twice in the last week already. As an example, you see this backlink from Autoblogging AI. And they've linked to my website right here. This is a DR54 and it's going from their homepage. Now, the beautiful thing about that is obviously there's a lot of link juice pointing to most websites, homepages. So if you can get a backlink directly on the homepage, not only is it good PR, not only is it good for branding, but also it gets you a backlink directly to your site. And it's going to point directly to your review page, as you can see here. Now, why would you want a backlink to your review page? Because you're trying to rank it on Google and make some money with affiliate income. So not only do you get a backlink point into your page that's going to help it rank obviously not straight away but it's going to help it rank in the long term but additionally you can add affiliate links to your articles and then when people click on your affiliate link and they buy something you make money right so you get backlinks for free using chat gpt and you also make some money along the way and by getting a backlink you're more likely to rank your page especially if it's a low competition keyword so for example if we go after a keyword like autoblogging ai review as you can see on Ahrefs, this is a very easy keyword to rank for we're not going to rank for it straight away but we can build backlinks to it. And then all your review pages where you're targeting tools, you can ask and reach out to that tool and ask them for a backlink. I'll cover some of the pros and cons in a minute because some of you might be thinking, oh, I don't want to do that, blah, 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 blah. But don't worry, Big G, not Google, Big G, Julian Goldie has got you covered here. So what we're going to do from now, and you can see we've also done it with Giga Indexer right here. So you can see that I've got a backlink pointing to my review of Giga Indexer on the homepage of Giga Indexer's website. And I'll talk you through exactly how to do the outreach and how it only took me a couple of minutes. But if we put this into Google for the keyword we're trying to rank for, you can see that for the keyword Giga Indexer, which is a tool that a lot of people will be searching for, we're ranking number three on the first page of Google. If we put in Giga Indexer review, you can see it's actually ranking number one for that particular keyword. And we're actually outranking the home page of that tool. So this is an easy way to get free backlinks. You're creating all the content using ChatGPT, and then you're reaching out to that site and asking for a backlink. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let me give you the SOP, the step-by-step -step operating procedure for doing this. So first thing you're going to do, use your favorite keyword tool, and you don't even have to use a tool. You could even go onto Google and then whatever tool you try to do, for example, like NeuralWriter, you can just type in R for review and see if it comes up in the auto suggest. If it comes up in the auto suggest, that's a good sign that people are actually searching for it. I wouldn't pay attention to the actual keyword volumes on Ahrefs, but I would focus on whether this is popping up in the auto suggests, and you just do this for any tools that you're using firsthand. You wouldn't do it for tools that you're not using because if you're not using the tool, you can't really write an unbiased review. But from there, you would just find the keywords you want to rank for, for any sort of keywords. Let's say, for example, you're a member of internet marketing gold. Like I am, I have a course on there as well, an authority site building course. And if you type in like, for example, internet marketing gold review into Google, you can see it popping up right there. And because it's a review of a community that isn't ridiculously big, it's, it's not like writing a review on say Zapier or ChatGPT or something like that. You, you're targeting smaller tools that you use daily, but don't have a lot of competition for ranking them. And then you've got your keyword ready to go. And then you're going to ask, right, well, how do you actually create the content? 
I, I always like to give you three options, the free version, the chat GPT plus version, and the actual paid version. So that whatever way you want to create content, you can. And I've covered that a million different times on my channel, so I'm not going to go too in depth in it. But if you want to follow this process that I'm showing you today, this is basically how it works. So for step number one, you do the keyword research, very easy. You can do this for free. What you're gonna do is for the tools that you're actually using personally, you type in the brand name into Google plus review. And if that keyword is in the auto suggest, for example, like internet marketing goal review, then great, create the content. If it's not in the auto suggest, don't create the content. Very simple. So now it's time to create the content. How do you do that? Well, if you look, for example, at this review that we created, Giga Index a review. So basically, very simple. You got your key takeaways. What is the tool? How does it work? Got some YouTube videos relevant to the content in the article. And um, basically everything you can ever want to answer within the article is there, right? So like how to use it, some YouTube videos, some content on there. And that's basically how it works. Simple as that, right? And you can generate that within minutes, can't you? Because you're using ChatGPT to actually create the content. So this is how the whole process works step by step. And then the final step is that you would add the owner on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. Now, when you're actually reaching out to people, I would just use a very short template. Now, you know, owners of these tools, they don't have a lot of time. You want to cut out the BS. You also don't want to reach out to like massive billion dollar companies, right? So you wouldn't create like a review on ChatGPT and then ask them for a testimonial. They're probably going to say no chance, mate. Then in fact, they're not going to reply at all. But if it was something like Giga Indexer, Internet Marketing Gold, you know, smaller tools that a lot of people use and a lot of people actively searching with four reviews on well these are the sort of people that you want to add as an owner on linkedin or facebook or twitter and i've actually created a sop right here for the outreach now when it comes to actually creating the content you might be wondering okay how do you actually do that so i would recommend chat gpt and you can use this for content creation i've actually given you three different methods that you can use within the sop so you've got the free version if you want to use that you can use the free chat gpt prompt right here and that is nice and simple and this is a prompt that I've tested many times. So I'm not going to go too in depth on it on this video, but basically you can use this prompt to generate content and it does rank as I've tested many times on my other YouTube videos. If you want to use the chat GPT plus method, which is a bit more automated, you know, you can say to it, for example, keyword equals giga index review. And I'm focusing on what's worked for my business. Obviously, I'm talking a lot about SEO tools in this video, but you could do it for any industry that you're in. As I've shown, so for example, let's say you're wearing a Taylor Daffley shirt, right? And you're like, right, Taylor Daffley, does the review come up in the auto suggest? It does, right? Okay, that will be a good one to create a review around in my clothing website, for example. And then we could reach out once we've created the content with ChatGPT. Now, if you're using this free SEO blog outline creator, you can basically just type in keyword equals and then it will create the outline for you. And I've actually linked to that directly from the SAP. And the final method, and this is the one that I actually give personally to my team, as you can see right here, we pay them $1 per article because we can, because they can generate articles and literally one click, they're just, you know, banging 10 keywords, whatever you want. And for example, this particular article, SE ranking tool, they can generate the content using autoblogging AI, as you can see right here. If we type that into Google and we look for the keyword, you can see my page ranking on the first page of Google there. And then we can reach out to SE Ranking and say, listen, we created this wonderful review about your products. We absolutely love it. Would you mind linking out to us as well? And that helps people see more of your review that is really good and talks kindly about your tool, right? And um, that's basically it. Now, if you want to quality check the work before you post it, obviously this is what we give to our team as well. Then I've actually got this step-by-step -step process, which I've talked a lot about on my channel. So I'm not going to go too deep into that. But for example, like fact checking, keyword optimization, adding relevant internal and external links. These are like the final tiny semantic optimizations you make before publishing your content. And then the final step is to do the outreach. Very simple, as I've talked about. You're not going to do this for billion dollar companies, but you would just add the person on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. If you can't find the owner on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, you can contact the company account. If you can't find them, then you can reach out to them via email, find the support tickets. Should be pretty simple, especially if it's a relatively small tool. Now, you'll see from this outreach, message right here it's very short very straight to the point very simple there's no fluff in there and the reason that we do that is because they're busy people and i don't think there has to be anything special now this has worked very well so far as i've already shown you already got links that i've shown you from giga indexer and also from autoblogging ai directly from the home page i think the best way to do this is just cut the fluff here's a review i created would you mind linking to it thank you little high five there we go 
And if you want a tracker where you can track all the content you've created for this process, how much this costs you, the keyword you're targeting, the actual URL, whether you've indexed it, internal links, the position that page is ranking on, whether it's ranking first page, and whether you've actually asked the tool for a backlink, it's all in this SAP tracker right here. You can actually make a copy inside the SAP and then crank out as many reviews as you want, as long as it's targeting tools and services and products you've actually tried yourself, right? And that's pretty much it. Now, we've talked about the process. Keywords, automate the content with ChatGPT, then do the outreach to the owner of the tool. I would recommend reaching out to the owner, not like the virtual assistant that's working for them because they don't really care about reviews, but the owner definitely does because they care about the reputation. Better reputation, better reviews equals more money for the tool owner. And you might say, why would you do this, Julian? Why on earth are you doing this? So before you type in that into the YouTube comments, let me get on with it and show you exactly why. So first of all, you can get backlinks pretty fast. I mean, we created these articles and then we got backlinks within a week, sometimes within 24 hours. Obviously, the backlinks you get are completely free. They're homepage backlinks. So you're getting a backlink from a homepage directly. For example, like this one, let me pull up for you. So you got the review on the homepage. It's also good PR, right? It's good branding, etc. And that's going to link directly to the review that you actually want to rank. It's working right now. So these are backlinks that I got in January 2024. And also ChatGPT automates the hardest part, which is actually creating the content. And as I've shown you, these tools rank, right? So for example, SE ranking tool, my review is ranking on the first page. Giga index review, that's ranking on the first page, etc. So you don't just get backlinks, but you also make money by ranking your affiliate articles and you build a relationship with the tool owner, which can never hurt, can it? Let's be honest. Now let's talk about some objections. So number one, ethically, only do this for tools that you actually genuinely think are good. Don't just try and bribe people for backlinks. Don't just write reviews because you can. I would only do this for tools I actually have tested firsthand. So for example, Giga Indexer, SE Ranking Tool, Autoblog and AI, I've all tested them on my YouTube channel. There's probably thousands of you already see. You might also say, is this really using ChatGPT? And I would say absolutely, because all the content that you're creating, which is the hardest and most time consuming part of the process, is automated in step two of the SAP. You might say, is it really free? And I would say absolutely. We're not paying for any of these backlinks. Is it easy to do? Yes. I mean, for me personally, what I do is I get a virtual assistant to create content. I give them the keywords, which takes two minutes to shut to find us. I've already shown you. And this can work in any industry, any niche. You might say, are the backlinks really DR54? And I, as I've shown you, I've already got backlinks from Autoblog and AI, which is a DR54 website. You might say, why use AI? And the good thing about AI is that you just automate the process. Right? And then what you can do as well is insert videos where you're firsthand using the tool as well. So you are not just creating a chat GPT content review, but you're also bringing unique content to the table with your screenshots or your videos or your testimonials, etc. And then finally, you might say, well, are these backlinks actually quality? And I would say absolutely, because these are editorially absent that people can't get them. They're from the tools that you personally use and are relevant to your industry. And additionally, they're going from the homepage of that tool to your website. So really powerful backlinks to get. And that's basically it. That is how you get ChatGPT free backlinks and how I create free DR54 backlinks with ChatGPT. Nice and easy. And if you want the whole SAP, I've actually included it inside my ChatGPT SEO course. Let me pull that up for you. Links in the comments and description. Go to the ChatGPT SEO course. Scroll down to the link building section. And this has loads of tutorials like how about links, how to do podcast out, which you can get back and see a sniper link building. And every single one of these tutorials is backed up with evidence of how I've done it and the whole process. So there's no BS in there. And if you scroll down to the testimonial AI backlink section right here, you will see the SAP in the description. You can get free access. Give it to your team, give it to your friends, give it to your cats if you want. If you want to train your cats on how to do AI SEO, you absolutely can. Maybe that'll be a future video. And if you want to book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website with link building, feel free to book in a call. And we'll show you how to build a link building campaign that predictably and consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic, and sales to your website. Basically, what we're going to do on that call is answer any questions that you have. We're going to look at your competitors, figure out, okay, what's the gap between them and you and how to rank. We're going to look at the best opportunities for link building. And we're just going to give you a step-by-step, -step, no BS, domination plan for SEO so that you can rank on Google with link building. So feel free to book in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye-bye.